I've been asked quite a few times in the past how I shoot and edit my videos, and I've talked a little bit about it in other videos, but today I thought I would just sort of encompass my primary setup, the two camera setup. So we'll start off by taking a look at the hardware I use, and then we'll go through the actual steps of making it work with software. And here we have my overly complicated filming setup. So we have the main camera in here, it's the Sony a6300. The lens changes from time to time. I've got a couple of LCD monitors that I can view what I'm filming on. The overhead camera is right here. I'm currently using the Panasonic G7 for that. I was using a camcorder up until just a couple of days ago, but whatever cameras you have will work in either of those positions. Here is my microphone. It's connected to this very large stand, but it does come back down to this external audio recorder. So at the end of the day, for every multicam video I'll make, I will come out with three clips, one from the main camera, one from the overhead camera, and one from the external audio source. And actually the audio from this external audio recorder is being pumped directly into the main camera as well. So in theory, I should have good audio on the main camera, but just in case I don't, I do have a backup. So let's take a look at how I edit multicam video with audio using Final Cut Pro. As you can see here in my Explorer, I do have one project at the moment. This is the Pokeball 2DS XL. Filmed it a couple of weeks back and still haven't finished it up. But as you can see, I do have three clips here inside of my project. I have the first clip from my overhead camera. You can see the overhead top-down view. I have a clip that's the separately captured microphone audio, and then another clip that's the main camera face cam view. And what you're gonna do if you want to use this as a multicam, you select all of the files, right-click, and go to New Multicam Clip. That's going to bring up a little window here. We'll just call it Pokeball. And you can tell it to use custom settings if there's some special way that you want to assemble it or order your clips or, or sync it in some certain way. For me, the automatic settings have always worked really well, so I tend to just stick to that. It takes just a little bit of time there, as you saw. But now we have a new clip called Pokeball. So what I'm gonna do with that is take it and drag it into my timeline. And the one thing that does make all of this possible and very easy is what I do right here because I did clap three times and the clap was visible and the spikes were audible on all of the sources, if I double click on this clip here, it pops out and shows me all three sources and you can see that they did line up perfectly where all of those claps occurred. If it didn't, however, if you needed to adjust it, you can always click on one of them, drag it around. Now I've put it out of order, I can just hit Command Z to go back and I'll go back to my timeline. And here's where the fun part of multicam editing comes in. Right now, you're just seeing the main camera, you're just seeing my face, and it's using the audio from the external audio source. But if I come up here to the top right-hand corner and click View, I can go down to Angles, and now I have a whole new section that pops up. So you can see here, this is the audio only track, this is the face cam, this is the overhead camera, and then there are three buttons overhead. You have the first one that changes both audio and video, very helpful if you have different audio tracks you wanna use with different video sources. You have just video switching and then just audio switching. For the way that I tend to do things, I like to leave the default audio as the external audio source, that way it's just a clean capture, and then I can switch back and forth between my video tracks. And this will work with a bunch of different video and audio tracks. So then to go ahead and try it out, we can go back down to the timeline. I'm gonna trim off the beginning using option left bracket, and I do want to start the video out on my face, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. Hit play. I swear this channel is rapidly devolving. Make a couple of cuts in here to take some things out. And now I found the place where I want to make my first switch. So at this point, what I can do is I first click on this area just to make sure I have the right part of the timeline selected. And I can either come up here and click on the video I want to switch to, like that. Hit Command Z to go back. Or I can hit the number three on my keyboard and it'll auto switch for me. Now you can see here on the timeline, I have my main cam beforehand, and then the clip that I'm wanting to switch to. It did not switch the audio, however, it's just switching the video because here at the top I have video selected. If I wanted to switch both sources, let me go back again, I can click audio and video, and then when I get to this point, if I hit three again, it's gonna switch camera and audio. And you can see here the thumbnail of the audio did change a little bit. It's not drastic or anything, but I don't wanna do that because my second camera audio is not any good. Likewise, if you just wanted to switch audio, if you wanted to go back and forth between an interview and just have one camera with two different audio sources, you could definitely do that by clicking the audio button. And again, clicking on whichever source you wanted or hitting the number for that source. For me, I do tend to spend the majority of my editing time going between different video clips so I click on that. But then as we go through the project, let me hit three to start, and then the we'll play for a little while. I can hit two to go back. I can hit three to come back over, two, 
three, just back and forth however many times you want. And that's basically all there is to it. I do tend to take some extra time with my videos and cut out long pauses like you see here. So I would make a cut here and then I would do a trim on the other side. That just makes the video flow a little better for me, but you can do that however you like. This is just to let you know that if you're using Final Cut Pro, if you wanted to edit videos the way that I do, where you capture it multiple times from different angles and switch seamlessly between it, this makes that whole process painless. And using the keys on the keyboard does still work, even if you don't have this angle window up. So I can turn it off using Command Shift 7, go back over to the video and just let it play, and hit 2, and then 3, and then 2. It's going to default to whatever you were doing last. So in my case, I was changing between video. If you switched it over to audio and video, it would do it that way. But this is the way that I've been doing multi-camera video editing for, well, about a year now. And it's been working really well for me. So if you have any tips and tricks, any different ways that you've done it you'd like to let me know about, let us know down in the comment section below. Maybe that can turn into a future video for this channel. I do have a few other Final Cut Pro tips that I was going to be sharing over the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get notified when new videos come out. Hit that like button down below if you liked it, and I'll see you again next time.